Holy fucking shit, dudes. Seven gig for a Dead Rising 3 demo. <laughs> I was like, ooh, a demo, yeah. I'm actually tempted to get Dead Rising 3 lately. And I'm like, ooh, a demo, go on then. Seven gig demo? Get the fuck. I guess I've got, I mean, I've only got Killer Instinct installed, so surely there's enough room on this hard drive. I don't even know how big the Xbox One hard drives are. My god. That is probably, I, I, I mean, I'm sure there's a demo that's bigger than that, but I can't think of one offhand. D -d -d damn Anything and everything is a weapon in Dead Rising 3. Explore the zombie infested city of Los Pe Ped Los Perdidos? Los Perdidos and find a way to escape before a military strike wipes the entire city and everyone in it off the map. With intense action and an unmatched level of weapon and character customization, Dead Rising 3 delivers a heart-pounding experience unlike any other as you explore, scavenge and fight to survive in a massive open world on the brink of a zombie apocalypse. <gasps> that was a big sentence. Somewhat large though. If I'd known that, I think I would have taken a breath before saying so. I mean... Like I say, I'm sh I'm sure something like something at the back of my mind is saying no. Actually, you've seen a large you've seen a larger demo than that somewhere. But fuck, man, if I can remember where, like that is pretty fucking big. Get okay, a demo try though. Like I say, I'd been um. I've um, I've just sorted out the joystick adapter. Although that's it's it's on a pre-order really. Like they said, no more stock until December twenty seventh, which kind of blows. But that's all just been sorted out, so it's like one thing at once, and I also need to save a bit of fucking cash as well, so... We'll see about Dead Rising. I'll play, I'll play the demo and then see how it is. Might set up a fucking resubscription at Love Film and just fucking rent it, <laughs> I'm not sure. But then again, like I said, there's not many games for the Xbox One that I'd actually really fucking want at the moment, so fucking... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I hope the exponent is a gift. Mm, kind of? From, from, from me to me? Merry Christmas me? You know, it, I mean, me and Claire already had us fucking Christmas presents and shit like that. So, this wasn't really a Christmas present as such. It was just a, a random purchase. Slightly fucking expensive. After the joystick adapter, it's about... After the joystick adapter and buying Killer Instinct and a month of Xbox Live sub plus the actual Xbox One itself, it's fucking knocking on 500 squid, which is incredibly steep. But I already feel like I'm. I already feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of it already. Already, it's not even been a week, and I already feel really satisfied with it. So let's give it another few weeks. Give it a month, and then I think I'm quite happy with it. I'm not sure. Rise and Killer Instinct. I mean, Rise looks alright, but I, I I don't know. I mean, Rise does look alright, but I, I mean, I'm completely happy with just Killer Instinct. So anything else is bonus, which is why I'm looking at Killer um, Dead Rising Three, maybe. Especially considering like everybody always raves Dead Rising to me, and I've only ever played one Dead Rising, and it was on the Wii, and it was kind of shit. But everybody says it's actually shit, not kind of shit. It is just full-blown steaming fucking turd. So, I don't think that was a particularly good introduction to Dead Rising playing it on the Wii. But this one looks good though. I was, I was watching some reviews of it earlier on. It looks pretty fun. I mean, the only real complaints they seemed to have about Dead Rising 3 was it doesn't look very next generation. It's like, well, to be honest, fucking guy. I was talking to the guy that was... Um, Reviewing it. Uh, he didn't hear me, but still, I thought I'd talk to him anyway. And I was saying, to be honest, guy, it's Capcom. When have you ever known Capcom to look next generation? I I, I mean... I, oh, no, no, I tell you, actually, I'll give them props. Um, Resident, Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS actually looks pretty fucking awesome. For a 3DS game. A handheld portable game, Revelations is pretty fucking nice looking. And... I thought Resident Evil 1 was very nice looking when it first came out. Remake is a, still a very pretty game even now. And there's another one I'm trying to think of. Oh, Code Veronica. 
When Code Veronica came out, that looked fucking next generation on the Dreamcast. Mmm, that was fucking tasty shit back in the day. Very, very good. You played Dead Rising on the Wii. What a crappy way to get into Dead Rising. Tell me about it. I mean, I've got to be honest, it actually put me off. So, uh, I mean, everybody says, no, 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 it's shit, is that one of shit? So, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, well, yeah, okay, right, but I've got to be honest, it's defi it definitely um, made me wary of playing Dead Rising. So, but, uh, but, uh, but, to be fair, I did keep it at the back of my mind that everybody was saying the Wii version was an absolute abomination. So, I am with the Xbox One now, and the new Dead Rising game, and I've got to be honest... An absolutely appalling lineup of launch games, except for Killer Instinct. This is on both both consoles as well. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, both absolutely appalling. I mean, I tweeted about it not long ago, and I was talking to folk about it. It's going to be the most boring console launch I have ever seen in my life. And I've seen them all, and this one was fucking pathetic, man. I thought, I thought last generation was pretty kind of slim, but this one was fucking pathetic. But, saying that... Killer Instinct is the best console fighting game ever. From a technical standpoint, I mean, this is what a lot of reviews miss out. They go, oh, there's not many character in it, characters in it. There's not many modes. You can't really play it single player or anything like that. And then that's it. That's in the review. Five out of ten. It's like, you've just missed absolutely everything that makes this game superior to every other console fighting game. As in, the game actual core mechanics are fucking incredibly great, very easy to get into, incredibly difficult to master. The netcode is without peer. Killer Instinct as a fighting game compared to other fighting games, there is no peer to it. Not even close. The only com- oh no, actually, I guess- no, I guess there actually is some peers. Um, anything you j use in GGPO, such as, um, Super Turbo, and, you know, the, on Xbox, um, you know, the HD, not just on Xbox, actually, but, you know, HD Remix, that's what I was looking for, HD Remix, um, Third Strike, and, was it Darkstalkers, the Darkstalkers little package? Those all use GGPO, hence, they are comparable peers, they're, they're actually alright, but, other than that, no, and even then, like, man, I mean, I play people, like, in New York, in Killer Instinct, like, I know they're from New York, New York, because, well, I don't know they're from New York, but they've got NYC in their name, and they sound like they're from New York down com, so, yeah, I, I, I guess I kind of do know they're from New York, and seriously, it feels like I'm playing local, like, somebody sat next to me and playing, it's very fucking good, so, uh, yeah, Feel free in reviews to not mention the absolutely incredible netcode that has set a new standard for console fighting games, as in, anybody that plays Killer Instinct online will never ever accept anything less than that now. Don't mention any of the fantastic mechanics or anything like that to do with the game, or no. Don't mention, like, the precision controls or, or anything like that. No, forget about that. Don't mention the absolutely incredible sound and music to that game. No, just forget about all that. No, there's not enough characters, because we need 30 characters in a game, even though the average player will not even play one character to an average level. But no, you need 30 characters to play shite. I mean, I mean, no offence to a casual fighting game player, like, but it does kind of get my go a little bit when you can tell, like, an obviously casual fighting game player is complaining that he doesn't have enough characters to suck at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even, like, top-level players only ever play about two or three fucking characters. Some not, some don't even play more than one. Six, when you need to learn all the heavies and the mediums and the lights of normals and enders and specials and linkers and shit, same difference, like, but still. Like, six is already overwhelming to me. That, that is already a lot of characters to learn, like, how to play and how to play against specifically. I mean, there's another two characters. There'll be a character, is it in January? I think Spinal comes out in January. And I think they said something like f like March for Fulgore. 
March is going to be a good month. If they bring out Fulgore and then this Titanfall as well in fucking March, that's going to be a good month. Give me an example of such a game, OTG. I'm sorry, dude. I think you're you you may, you're probably saying something in relation to what I just said, but I I can only remember like one sentence ago. So, give me an example of such a game. OTG. Like I say, I'm sorry. I I I don't know what you what bit I said that you're referencing there, dude. I'm not quite sure. Sorry. I got Dark Souls for £9, thanks to OTG for the recommendation. You are most welcome, sir. I would be amazed if you don't... Well, considering saying thanks, I am assuming that you are enjoying it. Congratulations. You've probably just got the most value out of a game that you have to pay for that you ever will. Without a doubt, the most quality game of the last generation for an absolute bargain basement price of £9. Enjoy that, sir. I know you will. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say, oh, well, none of these characters are my style and stuff like that, but I've got to be honest, like, there's quite a variance of, in, even in just six characters, they've actually hit quite a few key fucking areas. You've got Thunder, who's a grappler, you've got, um, Glacius, who's a zoner, like Dal Sim, you've got Jago, or Jago, who is, um, a shooter for 100, 90, he's 99% sure, there's very little else to him, um, you've got Sidira, who plays kind of like a, um, a Japanese fighting game kind of thing, you know, like the anime fighting games, Blaze Blue a little bit, Guilty Gear, Skullgirls, Marvel vs. Capcom, she kind of plays like one of them kind of characters, Saberwolf is Mad Rushdown, and, who am I forgetting? Orchid is a weird one, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure where Orchid fits in. She's kind of rushed down, kind of Marvel, kind of not at the same time. She's yeah, Sidira is very airish, which reminds me of Marvel, and um, I I'm just not sure about what where Orchid sits really. She's quite good in the air as well. Yeah, you know, she's got a real solid air for her. But she doesn't really play like... I, I don't know. She, she's... Oh, no, I, I guess... Um, I guess Orchid's like the Wrecker. Not like as in like W-R-E-C-K. You know, any fighting game player will not talk about it. Like, she's got Wreckers. And um, I guess she kind of fulfills that kind of role as well. And to be honest, there's not many more archetypes in fighting games than that. You know, for six characters, that's not bad. Oh, don't even get me started on the 14-day Xbox Live fucking trial. 14... F two weeks? When you've just spent £430 on a fucking console and they can't give you a month? Fuck you, Microsoft. You hear me, Microsoft? I'm on your fucking dashboard telling you where to go. Fuck off with your 14 days. That is ridiculous. It re it's, it's just insulting more than anything. I shouldn't have to worry about... I don't really worry about £6 a month. But I shouldn't have to fucking be concerned with it for quite a while after buying the fucking console, you know? I should be saying, I can't believe they only give you a month, rather than two. But to only give you two weeks is really, really shockingly disgusting. Shocking. Um, apparently Instant Dark Souls out in like March, February and March of next year, but not on the PC. And I, indeed, I am excited for Dark Souls 2. I am indeed, I am excited for Dark Souls 2. Bye. So is Claire. But they ain't released it on the PC at the same time as the consoles, so... I'm furious! Yeah. Uh, that has pissed off quite a lot of PC. It pissed off me as well, because I'm going to have to end up getting the console version. Which is going to be fine. Your know, Xbox One version is going to suit me absolutely fine. But, you know, I would prefer it. On the PC, where it will be much sharper, much better looking. And it'll also have the ability for mods. Although saying that, I only actually did one serious mod for Dark Souls, and that was the connectivity fix, which was entirely down against Windows Live. Or, should I say, gave some Windows offline. I just coined something new. Hi. 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 Games for Windows 
offline. Cause that's where it is, pretty much. But it's shutting down and all. Well, from what I've heard, they're making the PC, they're making Dark Souls 2 as, this is what's fucking strange, really. They must have some, like, deals with the consoles, really, because, I mean, it is a platform seller, isn't it? You know, Dark Souls 2 sold a hell of a lot of consoles and shit. Even though it was that late in the generation, a lot of people picked it up for Dark Souls. And same with Demon Souls for the PS3. And I strongly suspect that they've, uh, you know, they've gone, look, you don't have many fantastic titles out at the moment. How about we sign some exclusivity deal with you for the consoles first? But then again, it's a Japanese company and they like the consoles more than the PC as well. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I, d I doubt it, but still. Maybe, um... But... I mean, from what I've heard, they're making it as a PC game. And then it's being ported to the consoles. But it's kind of strange, isn't it? How, like, it, it's, it might be ported to the consoles, but the console versions come out first. Which is strange. Oh yeah, it's, it, it's, it's going to be on the 360 and PS3 as well. So it's going to be on 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and then a delayed PC fucking release. What? Oh wait, I thought it was on the, um, I thought it was on the PS... I thought it was on the PS4 and Xbox One as well. It was on all platforms. This generation and last. Is it only on last generation? Surely not. Surely not. That would be strange. That would be strange. I'd be most fucking disappointed if that's the case. And it's, it's, it's no hassle for me to fucking hook up the Xbox um, 360 or the, or the PS3, actually. I'm not sure which I'd do. Maybe the PS3 version, actually. Save myself and have enough for- Oh, wait, no! No, I may as well fucking get the Xbox version. I'd say at least the PS3 online is free. But saying that, your Xbox account is the same on the 360 as where it is on the Xbox One. So if I've got an Xbox Live sub on the, on the XB1, which I will, then the 360 is... It's got gold as well. Only on the 360 and PS3? Crazy. Crazy shit. How much memory does your Xbox One hard drive have? I don't know. I absolutely have no idea. They didn't really tout the, um, the drive space very much, did they? Oh, this looked like an interesting game as well, guys. Zoo Tycoon. Until I saw- look at it, you can buy it right now. Like, it's Zoo Tycoon. I mean, Claire loves the Tycoon games. I'm not gonna be honest, I thought this would be fun to piss around with on stream as well. But, for 50 quid? 50 quid for a Tycoon game? It's only two- the demo for Dead Rising is bigger than that. Three times bigger than the full fucking Zoo Tycoon game. I mean, it looks fun and it looks like a laugh. But, 50 quid? For a what is basic? That looks like an indie title to me. Well, not an indie title, but, you know, like, an Xbox Live downloadable kind of thing. Like, you're talking about 14, 15 quid at most. 50 quid? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh, it's, it's 500 gig. Maybe it says somewhere. Like I say, I don't know my way around this UI at all yet. No, the Xbox Live hard drive. Uh, sorry, Xbox hard drive is 500 quid. Um, I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea about how to get to, like, the hard drive stuff. See, this is what I'm saying. Uh, they, they made it all really, really fucking janky to get around and, you know, like, figure out... Figure out where shit is. I can get to TV stuff absolutely fine. But where the fuck do you get to, like... Where, where is, like, the hard drive? Preferences? Nah, surely not. 